Okay, and finally, I'm going to talk about descaling as a way to put less pressure on yourself when you're drawing to make things look really um, accurate and refined. So, descaling is just what it sounds like. Um, it is a way of making yourself physically less skilled in your drawing. Um, I was sort of forcibly taught these methods in my undergrad, and I think that they really worked, and I still enjoy using them um, today. So one way to do it is to do blind contour line drawings. And this would be when you are drawing an object without looking at your paper. Um, you don't lift your pen off the paper, and you give yourself maybe 30 seconds or a minute to complete the drawing. Um, and I'll put some images up here of what I mean, but they can look really, really beautiful. And when you are seeing the advantages to having a drawing that is so imperfect, but has a really nice quality about it, you start to forgive yourself for these kind of little inconsistencies in your sketching. Similarly, I use really quick gesture drawings to practice sketching and getting the essence of something down really fast. So trying to draw people who are walking by in three or five or ten seconds um, and conveying the form of their body and where their weight might be placed um, and seeing those, you know, those like bare essentials to get an idea and a form across really allows you freedom in your sketching to leave things out and not have pressure to make things be so detailed. And then finally, using a medium that you've never tried before or that necessarily makes you less skilled. Um, so this drawing is a skeleton that I drew and our instructor gave us really, really long sticks with, I think they were Conte on, on the end of them. And we were made to use these sticks and hold them at the very, very end. Um, so we were like two or three feet away from our canvases and drawing. And so it was really hard to get any kind of detail or accuracy down. Um, but again, I think it has a really nice quality. And when you start to like recognize these qualities that are something other than accuracy, um, you can start to look at your drawings as a way of conveying um, emotion, affect, atmosphere, um, form, quality, texture, rather than something that is just completely accurate to everyday life. Um, finally, I'll reinforce that, you know, nobody is getting graded on your sketches in this class, and it's really just something that will help your practice and help your design process. Um, and it's really just in your best interest and up to you to take initiative to, um, to, yeah, to improve your sketching and use it as a tool to get, to get better at design as a whole. Um, so I hope that this tutorial helped you a little bit understand how you might go about looking at, um, some of the objects in your site and constructing them in your sketches. And um, I'm really excited to see them all. Good luck, everyone.